السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته Hi, Chris. What's going on, everybody? May Allah give us two feet in the last ten days of Ramadan. But it went by fast. Panala, it feel like it just started. You know what I mean? And um, and I didn't even realize that it was actually almost over. But inshallah, we have a good, we have a strong ending. Inshallah, with this Ramadan. Crazy out here, man. Gotta be on point. So where everybody from, man? Once I pull up at the gas station, I'ma um, really chop it up with y'all. Gotta be patient because he's driving crazy, but he mad at me. <laughs> that was funny. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. What's going on, y'all? Wahid Tassim. So where everybody from? Hold on, hold on. Thank you, brother. Hold on, man. I gotta um one second. I gotta I gotta do clean. I gotta clean my phone, man. You know, it's, it's we sweating our hands. <laughs> we sweating in Saudi, bro. Hold on. Gotta clean that phone, man. Can you please tell me what pants Gaddafi was wearing? <laughs> Don't tell me we got another one. Where he at, man? It's Gaddafi, um, SpongeBob Gaddafi pants ain't online? That's my man. You in your New Jersey, mashallah. Britannia, Kuwait. You are in Saudi right now. Anam, Anafi, Riyadh. Salam from Bosnia. Eritrea, mashallah. Yeah, we fast in Hamdulillah. Turkey in the house. Inshallah, hopefully I'll come back to Mecca soon. Charlotte, North Carolina. How hot it man today is 111 degrees. Right now, 111 degrees, man. My AC like is pumped to the fullest and it doesn't it feel like somebody doing this to me. And my my AC is pumped to the fullest. <laughs> Philly, Jeddah. Thanks. Yeah, it gets so hot, man. The AC don't even worry. It just feel like somebody just blowing hot air on me. Well, Sheikh, there's many Mashaikh, mashallah, that we listen to. Sheikh Salah, Al Sheikh Salah Fouzan, Sheikh Salah Luhadain, Halas. Many of them are Sheikh. Sheikh Bin Bad, Sheikh Uthameen, Sheikh Albani. Alhamdulillah. Oh, what's going on, brother? Long time. SpongeBob Qaddafi pants. I knew you was coming. Welcome back. Alhamdulillah, and a man had Salafia, Alhamdulillah. Al-Qaeda, Alhamdulillah. It's a man, it's, it's a must that every Muslim follow the Salaf. It's a must. You know what I mean? The Salaf al Salih is a must that we all follow the Sahaba. We all follow the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Sahaba. Alhamdulillah. Alright, I'm about to stop driving until I go here to the gym. And once I get to the gym, I'm going um, to come back. You know, in Ramadan, I only work out. I'm not gonna read because I, I really wanna, I wanna um, obey the Lord. But I'm, a, I can still talk to y'all. You know, in Ramadan, we, um, at Ramadan, we work out. I, when I go to the gym, I don't really work out that much. You know what I mean? I might spend about 30 minutes inside. And um, but here in Saudi, mashallah, even in the states, I know, like my man Dave House, he work out. He work out after Tarawih, after Iftar. Here in Saudi, the gyms close about three in the morning because a lot of people prefer to go after they break their fast. You know what I mean? What's, what's, so most people, not after they break their fast, after Tarawih prayers, most people will go to the gym. So sometime here, 
They will spend all night in the gym, mashallah. They spend all night in the gym, mashallah. So it's good, you know what I mean? It's good to keep active, mashallah. The last 10 days, we can, we can, we can, mashallah, the whole Ramadan, but the last 10 days, what's more important than our, than our bodies, to be honest, is our relation, fixing our relationship with Allah. You know what I mean? These last 10 days, it's very important because if we stand up for uh, Layla to Qadr, the night of decree, one night of worship, if I'm not mistaken, is like, um, it's like a thousand years of worship. If I'm not mistaken, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that one night, subhanAllah, Allah the Fadr Rahim, Allah is, is so generous that one night of standing in worship, it can, we can have all our sins forgiven and Allah write it down as if we live for a thousand years and we worshiped Him for a thousand years straight. That's, mashallah, tabarakallah. Allah is generous, you know what I mean? So many of us, not many of us, all of us fall short. All of us have our shortcomings. All of us commit sins. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi said, every son of Adam commits sins. But those who are best from amongst the sinners are the one who do tawbah, the one who repent. So we're all sinners, you know what I mean? We're all sinners. But the beauty thing about Ramadan, there's a chance that Allah can forgive us. What is this guy doing? So the beauty about Ramadan is that there's a chance that we can get our sins forgiven. You know what I mean? Many of us slip the whole year probably. May Allah forgive us. Many of us, we all have our shortcomings. But just imagine that one night. And we sincere, inshallah. Let's say, for example, we sincere, inshallah. That one night we standing. We know what I mean? That one night, that one night, um, no, a thousand, a thousand months, huh? A thousand years or a thousand, how many, how many, Yom, Layla to Qadda, how many, in the verse of Quran, how many, how many months is it? I think it's uh, 83 years or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. But the brothers and sisters here can correct me, they can um, let us know. But just imagine, man, that we standing in prayer for Layla to Qadda, that one night. And Allah is so generous of mercy that I was sincere, a thousand months, I think it's 83 years, if I'm not mistaken. So a thousand months... Allah write it down for us as if we worship Him for 83 years, man. We all in need of that, you know what I mean? Every single one of us, we all in need of that barakah and that blessing, you know what I mean? We all have our shortcomings, we all have our sins. We thank Allah for covering up and hiding our sins, but we definitely all in need of that, you know what I mean? So, we should strive for these last 10 days because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi he told us to look for Layla to Qadda in the last 10 days. And some, some authentic hadith says the odd nights in the last 10 days. So this is why it's very important for the last 10 days, we should be praying every night. Taught away at least every night. And remember the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, whoever prayed taught away with the Imam, Allah write it, write it down for him as if he prayed the whole night. So I pray that Allah give us tawfiq and allow us to catch that night. You know what I mean? I mean. So I'm about to go into the gym right now. Show y'all the gym real quick. It's empty now, mashallah. But I get a good 30 minute workout in. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Look at this. Ah, look at this peace. This is peaceful. Have the Sakina. Yeah, as we in the gym, man, it's real quiet here, MashaAllah. So it's real quiet and peaceful. Yeah, the sun never goes down. How do you fast? You got to speak to the ulema. You know what I mean? The scholars, they address that. The countries where the sun doesn't go down. I think I read a report that it's best. The nearest city to you, a country to you, where the sun set, then you follow that. But speak to the people with knowledge about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, like, they go SpongeBob Qaddafi pants. Yeah, man, when you work out in Ramadan, you be thirsty. You be that first cup of water, mashallah, tabarak, wallahi. That really... That take me on a whole other level after working out and I get that first cup of water in me, that cold cup. <laughs> but Lahi is amazing, Aki. That feeling. The Prophet said the fastest person have two rewards. Or um, I think he said two rewards of joy or something like that. The first when he break his fast, and the second when he meet his Lord. You know, he got two when you break that fast. But imagine when you're working out, you super, super thirsty like me, that cup of water. I, as soon as I go in, <laughs> as soon as I go in the house, I fix that cup of water. I sit it on the table. And I'll be like a pit bull. I look at it and make sure none of my kids touch it. <laughs> so I can't wait to get that cup.
Alaikum salam. I would feel like better cat too. All right, everybody, I'm out, man. Let me get my workout on, mashallah. Your name Yunus, yeah, I know Hayakala Yunus, man. You know, I just be joking with you a lot, man. You know what I mean? And um, I like to laugh with you. Marcus Muad, hopefully hopefully soon, mashallah, man. Get a salam to the brothers. Yeah, I just be joking with you. You funny, man. I'm not going to block you anymore. It's no point anywhere. I can't block you anymore. I gave up. You you became a halazi. You are my friend. Medina date. Oh, ice cream and deadly. Boy, that just made me more thirsty. I had to. <laughs> Everybody follow Medina dates, man. If anybody need the best dates from around the world. The best dates, not from around the world. I mean, the best dates from Medina, but he shipped around the world. Everybody follow his Instagram page. One second. I'm about to post them right now. Man, what's happening? Hey, Adu. Matter of fact, somebody sent me a message yesterday. I gave him your. He 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 said he need to get some Adjua dates in um, Paris and France. So I sent him your Instagram. I think he might have hit you up already. If not, I'm gonna I'm put him back, put you back in contact with him. All right, everybody. Yeah, it's pent now. Yeah, follow Adu. Follow Medina dates, you know what I mean? They have dates for Medina from a farm in Medina, a date farm in Medina, and they ship all over the world, alhamdulillah, man. So hit them up, mashallah. Not only if he had, you had some other stuff too. What, what else you have? Um, you have? He also had black seed, you know what I mean? He had black seed, so you can get the black seed from as well, mashallah. All right, everybody, man, I'm about to do my workout on uh, for a good 30 minutes, inshallah. All right, and I'm looking forward to that cold cup of water. Peace. All right. Uh, I'd, I'd. Okay, if he didn't hit you up, I do tell me. I'm gonna hit him up, inshallah. Yeah, he got dates, black seeds, honey, and saffron. So everybody hit up Adu. I'm a customer, man. Well, I'm a customer when he let me pay. Usually he he just likes to give me gifts, but I can vouch that his stuff is good, mashallah, tabarakallah. All right, everybody, I'll see y'all soon. Masalama, masalama.